If your left hand sounds a little bit muddy and unclear in virtuosic passages, chances are that you're not using circular clockwise articulation. Welcome back everybody to yet another Moser Mini Masterclass. Thank you for the amazing response to last week's class when we talked about shifting and let's just dive into it. We all know how to clearly articulate a note onto the string. You lift the finger and if I just lift it a little bit, it's going to be very soft. If I lift it a lot, articulates very strongly. That I think is clear to most people. What remains a mystery is how you take the note off so it has a clear ending as well. And this is where the clockwise motion comes in. If I just lift the finger, chances are that the note is going to be a little bit muddy at the end. I'll play it slowly for you. There's almost like a little bit of a glissando. And if you do that in a fast tempo, it's just not going to speak. So to practice this slowly, you lift the finger, you articulate, and you pull it sideways. And through that, you get a circular motion that goes clockwise. I start my day with trill exercises, and that is a great moment to actually practice that circular motion. Now you can check if you're really doing it right, because it's gonna make a little bit of a pizzicato sound. There have been composers in the past that actually used that, famously the second movement of the Britain Cello Sonata. So this is really a helpful technique to learn and to obtain and to have in your repertoire. Now this strong articulation of course is not helpful in every situation. For example, let's take the swan. I would never use that articulation. What you have to use here is left hand legato. Let me know in the comments below if that is something that interests you and I can make a masterclass about that as well. When we talk about articulation, we often focus on the right hand, but the left hand is just as involved. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to learn in your next Moser mini masterclass. And until then, happy practicing.